so it has come to this. Good men, torn from their kin, to rage and spill the blood of other men's foes. But we will not be forgotten. shall be known, even when our bones are dust scattered on the wind. <laughs> and our names will inspire the mighty to rise. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. New video, new game. Today we're going to be playing Total War Saga Troy Edition because who doesn't love a little Greek mythology in their life, you know? We're loading into a new game, so I'm gonna be picking the preferences. Uh, I usually go with Truth Behind the Myth just because it has a real feel to it. Um, and it also gives us more heroic stuff. Uh, we get to use the gods of Olympus uh, to help us in battle. And then it also gives us mythic units, uh, such as the Minotaur, Mighty B Bandit King with a Bull's Skull Helmet. Awesome. So you got Achilles, Odysseus, Agamemnon, Menelaus, Ajax, Diomedes. For the Trojans, you have Hector, Paris... Aeneas, uh, Sarpedon, Rhesus, and Amemnon, uh, Hippolyta, and I can't even pronounce that, Amazonians are available to play with, which is pretty cool. I always like to go with the Greeks rather than the Trojans, um, but you know, I'll, I'll pick and choose. Today though, I will be going with Achilles, because he is my favorite hero of all Greek mythology. And no, not because Brad Pitt plays him in the movie. <laughs> Just because it's fun. He's a living legend. Uh, he is hot-blooded, so you need to keep him fairly active. Um, if he starts to get indignant, um, then... You know, the economy does different things, and he does different things. It's just, it's cool how uh, traversed this game is. So, let's load in. We'll do normal and normal. Victory conditions. Defeat your first antagonistic faction, which is either Troy, Mycenae, or Nausos. Or I can just raise or sack 100 different settlements. Yeah. Alright, let's become a legend. Are we mere playthings of the gods? Or do we plead divine influence to justify our foolish choices? He's taken her! He's taken my wife! You've risked the safety of Troy. Troy is my home now. You have my oath, brother. She will be returned to you. Brother, I can fight! Go. Seek shelter. There'll be plenty of fighting ahead. Helen's flight was a grave wound to Achaean pride. 
King Menelaus will have his revenge. And his brother will have his war with Troy. Just as the gods intended. The gods. Oh, swift-footed Achilles. There is only one response to Queen Helen's abduction. And that is war. Brother, your foolish passion has doomed us. King Agamemnon of high-walled Mycenae must avenge this insult to his brother. You are the ultimate warrior, king of Thea, and commander of the Myrmidons. Glory in battle is my god-given fate. Your ally, King Lycomedes, rules the Isle of Skyros. As a boy, you were sheltered in Lycomedes' court on your father's command. Now you must protect the old king in turn. Heed both threats from enemies like the Elopeans and opportunities that come your way through friends such as prosperous King Oelius and his son Ajax the Lesser. The independent Thessalians could be a bulwark for your western flank. Keep your courage, lion-hearted Achilles. For you know well that fortune favors the bold. All right, let's get into this. Hot-blooded Achilles. Defeat the enemy. We want to de defeat the Elopians because they're right next to us. <laughs> we got the uh, groups north of us, and then that's the Elopians. I cannot do that. Antiphates. I don't know how to say his name. Achilles! Let's go get him. Turn the ground red. Looks like an easy fight. Usually I do auto resolve, but we're going to fight this battle. All right, we've loaded into the the battle map. Sometimes weather conditions can be rough, but not for this battle. This is kind of like an intro into uh, Achilles' first battle. So we've got a couple sol uh, standard soldiers, we've got some spearmen, some javelin throwers. Let's start the battle. So my key is, they're up there on the hill. I want to start moving my units forward out of the woods. I'm going to have to engage them either way, so let's click there. Achilles! Achilles! As you can see the bar at the top, the yellow is me, the red is my enemy. So as long as that bar stays mainly for me, that means I have the better shot of winning the battle. Let's fast forward, because they're taking too long. The enemy hold the high ground. To rush in when they have such an advantage is to invite disaster. Disaster. We've got to be careful. Alright, so because of that, I'm actually going to halt my units and split them up. I'm going to send a battalion of units around that big rock formation right there. And then I'm going to take Achilles and a few packs of soldiers and take them head on. If I split up their soldiers, then I have a better chance of winning this battle. And they'll get confused by me splitting in half, you know? You'll get to see why I chose Achilles. In this battle and many others to come. He is just absolutely unmatched. That's why he's my favorite. I've got a larger group of units than them anyway. Alright, you see how they've started shifting positions in preparation of me? So, now that they've shifted and they're going to start moving, 
even more. I'm just going to send my units in. Fight them to the death. The foe has sighted your hidden units. All right, send in that battalion down there. Achilles! Hector! Oh, that's a different battle. All right, let's click these guys. That's their captain. So all my soldiers are going to take all that group out. For all that blood. I do have a feature on that allows for more bloodshed. So, if you're squeamish, I'm I'm sorry. Your hero is uh, under attack. I tried to send him over, but he got surrounded by one of their battalions. Show me blood. He's stuck in there. That's all right. Kill them all, Achilles. Your captain is about to die over there. Yeah, victory! We have victory! One of your units has no more ammunition. No mercy! No mercy. Chase him down! I could end the battle right now, but I'm adding. I'm adding additional uh, fight. So I'm, I don't like this group. Let's kill them all. The war! Fight on, my brothers! Now I can end the battle. No, I don't want to rematch. Get him! Yeah, look at that. We won the battle! We can take them on, spill their blood, or uh, barter their lives for additional resources. I'm going to spill their blood only because it gives ah! my units additional morale. My might only grows. Good. So we defeated the Elopian army. We got that extra. All right, mustered the troops. We want to try to get extra troops now, but we are going to storm Achilles that city. Um, yeah, why not? Achilles Don't is strong. This one we're going to auto-resolve. After we do a little Kill siege. The surrounding the city. Okay, we already saw that. Alright, decrees. This is a list of additional bonuses that my... Um civilization can have um they, they can get additional stone wood food stone co or copper gold stuff like that i'm gonna do public service to start because i want to get down to that food that extra food for right, my uh civilizations my, my cities and then uh achilles has it's skill points that i need to activate Blood of Heracles or Frenzy. Uh, they both give additional hero hit points, but it's the additional, that smaller icon next to it that is more important. So I'm going to do Blood of Heracles just so I can activate the other ones. And then Pythia needs some buildings to be constructed. 
Because not only are we trying to survive as a civil, like build our civilizations up, but we need to. Um, what am I saying? We need to build our civil, our cities up, so that we can get more troops, so that we can inflict absolute total war on everybody else. Because that's what Achilles is all about. He's all about fighting the good fight. Uh, I definitely want to get that practice range, but it's not at my disposal right now. And I got the lumber yard so that I can increase my lumber production. Alright, on to the next turn. Issue a royal decree so we can get those extra resources. So the timer at the top left, we can definitely go for the royal decree. Let's get this out of the way. We're going to do an auto resolve here. Medium, casualties, it's going to be a close victory. Easy win. Stab! Dead! Achilles, the champion. It's probably my one of my favorite graphics in this. The auto resolve is just like a quick battle between the two. I only lost 180 units. So, um, each of these has different attributes. If I loot and occupy, sack, raise. But I'm going to occupy only because I don't want to lose too much happiness or growth within the city. Resources will come. I was known to loot, um, loot and occupy, and that would be kind of tough. So we got to get that one to complete that province. There's Pythia. Now we can get it. We can get that practice range. So we can get some archers, some javelin throwers. Alright, his units gotta heal to see the green and the yellow. Units gotta heal, which means we gotta get more units into the, the groups. And we're gonna recruit more units as well. And they all have a one turn timer, so I'll have them next turn. You can usually only summon three at a time. Alright, construct any building, we got those extra resources, that's good. Or, that's an objective. We're going to shoot for that once the construction finishes that we already started. Let's get some ranged units. And then what other construction is available? Oh, we can upgrade our loggers camp. Cool. Increase wood production per turn. You're going to have cities that are logging cities, uh, farming camps, stuff like that. They specialize in the specific things. Uh, diplomacy. We don't need to worry about this right now. Eventually, um, other groups are going to kind of trade with us. This is the divine will. You can pray to get additional benefits from the gods. Living legend. That's Achilles-based stuff. All right. So we completed that objective. We have 13 units and we constructed a building. So additional supplies for us. Main building, we definitely want to upgrade if one is available, which would depend on our resources and the garrison units and or the, the growth of the city itself. All right, so he's got a couple more units to heal. And we want to add a bunch more units to the fold. Because 20 is the cap. 20 total uh, unit groups is the cap. Alright. Issued the Royal Decree. Nice. Got those resources. When Achilles is dormant at a civilization, he starts to get indignant has a negative connotation to it so he always has to be fighting he always has to be conquering 
And that's a problem because he's only one unit. So if I have him running around doing stuff, then, you know, I need him to defend my civilizations. And that's where it gets tougher later on. You'll see. All right, we want to upgrade our main walled city. Um, and his stay, uh, Attack. I think that's how you say it. Attack! Show no mercy. Yeah. All right, you see, I'm going to win this battle. I'll lose a little bit of units. Slaughter them. Why? Because their leader was an archer. What a weakling! Yeah, see those ga those gaping holes in the numbers on the units. So I lost 523 units. I have 666 remaining. 666. Uh, I'm gonna occupy so that I can occupy this place. I have completely eliminated the Elopians. Sorry, guys. You guys were weak. All right, do the Royal Decree. Let's do planning for production. So we can get the food, feeding the war machine. I think it unlocks after a certain amount. Skill points. Legendary prowess. Let's do either Way of Ares or Arn by Hephaestus. Because it's either increase uh, melee attack or increase damage. I think I want to go with not. Uh, I want to go with the Arn by Hephaestus. Probably butchering that. I'm so sorry. Only because it gives me additional melee damage points, and I want to increase his melee damage as much as possible. He is a god. Treat him as such. Alright, because I have conquered the whole province of Elopia by having Histeia and Sorinthos, I can choose a, com a commandment, which is available to add additional bonuses to that province. So, it's, usually I go with organized games only because that increases the overall happiness and I want to keep my happiness up if I let it continue to drop or it stays in the negative for too long then rebellion can happen and I can lose cities and I don't want to lose cities all right we're gonna have him sit for a bit so he can heal up nice all right start a turn with 20 units in a single army we will definitely do that and maintain control of two provinces direct ownership or through vassals or military allies commander of myrmidons commander of myrmidons i could combine units but i'm not going to do that At once. honestly i'm just getting filler units those two units are pretty basic and they don't require too many supplies yeah, we did that. And nice. We can increase that. As we upgrade buildings, more people come to our cities. Just increases the overall growth. It'll continue to use more resources. All right, Achilles' blood is boiling. My, my, my. He's getting indignant. You just gotta wait and let your units heal. Psycho. He's like, I know, I must fight. If I know fight, I know fight. Okay, let's upgrade the farming town. It's a definite plus. We need that. Hungry for action. 
Make yourselves comfortable. Make yourselves comfortable. All right, we upgraded the main building, finished that construction, so we got those additional resources. Now, dreams of dark tidings. We definitely want to go there. That's north of us. That, although three of those civilizations are ones that we're going to take over eventually. That's our plan. But we also, by bringing Achilles up there, then it'll increase his uh, experience points. We definitely want to do that. So let's send him over to Allos so we can get a couple more units. Um, what should we build? What should we build? This province is focused on food. So I want to increase food production if possible but I also want to make sure that I have uh, military buildings too so I'm gonna build uh, yeah I'm gonna build one of these and then I'll also build Um, I think I'm going to do a food warehouse. I think that would be the best decision. We've already got a lumber warehouse, so let's do a food warehouse. All right. I always win. I always win. All right, next turn. We've got a surplus. There's some other wars being declared. And buildings construction. Good for us. All right. We want to... Yes, let's build... Let's do arable land so we increase food. And then we can build a watchtower there so that we can get that extra unit. Once it's finished construction. Ultimate warrior. All right, let's go there. Let our units continue to heal. And let's get some javelin throwers. Yeah, that would be a definite bonus for our group. I'll get spearmen later on. They're not bad. They do have poor attack. And I do like having a, a significant Rest ranged population. All right, this is important. This is when we start dealing with uh, trades, barters, and then eventually we'll have civilizations that are gonna wage war on us. It's just gonna happen. Um, a lot of times I like to fudge the numbers a little so that it has the best option for me, but this is Agamemnon and I'm not trying to piss him off. He is pretty strong. Ella Fenor. Yeah, I'm not giving you that much stone, my good sir. That would deplete a lot of it. And I don't need that much gold. So let's counter offer. We're going to lower stone first. And then we're going to lower the gold. But we're going to adjust the numbers just to the point before it goes from green to red. Because if it goes red, then it's a negative, um, a negative situation. We don't want that. Good. So... They have accepted the offer. If it goes in the red, they're not going to accept the offer. All right, he's got 20 units. That is fantastic. And we have to build an altar. One of our cities will have an altar, at least one of them. Good, upgrade the ship stands. 
This game requires very strategic decision making. All right, let's declare some war. Um, these guys have a few allies. And they have a peace treaty with me right now. But I want their land, so... Um, yeah. Cut them down. Bring their death. Ooh, that's not good. If we try to do this... Let's do a siege. Let's see if it puts us in a better situation. Oh, and he got that experience boost. That's awesome. Drill expert. That's a good one. I'm going to go with that. All right. As was foretold, you are the world's greatest warrior. Yet some fools still insist on challenging you. End their pretensions and their lives to demonstrate your martial supremacy. Yeah, I definitely will. Don't test me. I'm Achilles. Yes, measured fields. That is a plus. Let's get it. So, let's check this. Nope, did not increase. In fact, they're at a better position. So, let us break siege. And if they're going to stay... Yeah, let's break siege. If they're going to stay in that civilization, then I'm just going to take Fairy. Master of combat. Attack! Easy win, my guys. Easy win. Hit hard and fast. And snap. Good luck. Good luck. Only lost 188 units. Good. We want to occupy. We want that province. So that was the last piece of one of our provinces. All these that see gave us additional uh, bonuses for Achilles and his army. Now we can do one for Pythia. We can do a commandment for Pythia because we have all three of those civilizations now. So let's do it. It's minus 10 on happiness. I, I kind of want to do either Heroic Feast. Uh, I'm probably going to do the games. Yeah, it says his happiness is deteriorating. So let's do uh, let's do organized games because I'm I'm not about to lose this civilization to that. Good. All right, we got two provinces. We need two more. I just love that if he's in a civilization for one turn, his blood starts to boil. It's funny. All right, so we're not going to attack the civilization because he's well defended. However, I was trying to see if I could up the levels on these guys, but I don't think it's going to let me. That is something I have to unlock for the city itself. My reputation in duel. So let's attack the guy that's right outside of the city. See, I, I'm, I'm victorious. And the other guy within the, the city has to come out and fight. So let's test it out, man. Kill them all. Easy win right there. I lost quite a bit of units. However, I won the battle. And everybody else that they had, reinforcement-wise, in the city, are also gone. Let's go. Traits gained. I got a weapon. That's so cool. All right, let's take the city. And occupy. 
Nice. Exceptional warriors found. All right, let's get Achilles his skill point. Uh, should I do siege or land? Siege. Mm. Let me look it over again before I make that final decision. Yeah, let's do siege. That just works better. All right, let's get some extra units. All right then. Uh, just some filler units so I can increase my ranks. Nice commandment issued. Good. Blood boils. Who cares? All right, we've officially got. Two out of four provinces. Gain a trait. Good for him. I am a legend. Let's move him back to Alos so that I can get better units for him. Cool. Because I want those javelin throwers. Those archers would be cool. But I've got to upgrade buildings in order to get them. Nice. Here we go. This is when everybody starts declaring war on me. I dare you, man. Come on. Let's do it. You really want to press this, this uh, decision? You want to go with this? It's fine. I will crush you. Yep, this guy from the south of me, southeast of me, wants to declare war too. Fine. I will destroy you. And like Eumedes, why not? All these are neighboring territories. Based, well, two out of three of these are. Alright, feeling indignant, perceived slights to his name. He is attempting to sue this mood through the great feasts. Which would be pleased that our local population but negatively affect diplomacy. You may choose to let his indignation uh, run its course or dull its impact with an offering. Um, I am not going to indulge his indignation. I'll just pay the resources because I have a lot. Get him the units he needs. Well, let's start preparing because it looks like Lycomedes is going to try to move in on us. Don't get too comfortable. Don't get too comfortable. Well, we don't have enough gold to unlock that one. That's all right. So then let us. As we're building up our gold reserves. Let's do the stone. Stone would be the better decision. Man, you want to start a war with me too? Now I'm being fought on all sides. Whatever. Most honorable, the centaur spoke harsh words about Achilles' destiny. I will say that he is destined for great and terrible things. He eventually dies in the Trojan Wars, but I will embrace that destiny and I will fight to the last breath. I'm not going to lament my fate or reject the prophecy. i got to do what I have to do. Use my white-hot rage to... Uh... Yeah, flood. It's alright. We'll be okay. White-hot rage. Alright. 
at this point before we get into it too far i'm gonna end the video now thanks for tuning in i appreciate it keep an eye on the channel for further videos we're going to continue playing total war saga troy in the near future as always keep crushing your games and i'll catch you next time